Hey everybody, Joe here, and today we're going to be teaching you all about how to properly make Ethernet cables, specifically CAT5e and CAT6. We're going to show you how to properly terminate those and test them using our cable tester. As you may already know, CAT5e and CAT6 are Ethernet networking cables. There are a few small differences between them when we go over that in our video, What's the Difference Between CAT5 and CAT6? Link to that can be found in the description. Before we get started, however, there are some tools and materials you're going to need, so let's take a look. You are going to need CAT5 or CAT6 Ethernet cable, wire cutters or snippers, wire strippers and a crimper tool, RJ45 heads for the cables, a cable tester, and although a ballpoint pen is not technically necessary, it can be a very helpful tool and we're going to show you why. All right, let's get started. Step one, using the stripper and crimper, remove the outer jacket or rubber insulation from about three inches off either end of the cable. If you didn't tear far enough, you can pull down on the fibers inside the cable to safely tear the jacket further without using the crimper or cutter or damaging the wires. When you have the length you need, trim the fibers off and the jacket. Do this for both ends of the cable. If you have CAT6, there will be a spline here. You can gently tug on the spline to reveal the bottom most accessible portion. And from here, you should trim it. This ensures the spline is inside the jacket slightly further. Each pair of cables needs to be untwisted. This can be done by hand, like so. However, there's a nice technique using the pen that we mentioned earlier that can help you accomplish this faster and neater. Untwist just slightly at the base of the twisted pair, then insert the tip of the ballpoint pen. While gently pinching the cables together just above the pen tip, begin to slide the pen up with a mild amount of pressure. As you can see, the result is separated cable that are far more straightened than simply using your hands. As before, do this for both ends of the cable. From here on out, know that although these steps need to be done at both ends of the cable, it's okay and expected to do one side at a time, from trimming to crimping. The now exposed wires are going to be trimmed at the tip to reveal a bit of the internal metal wire and inserted into a very specific order in the RJ45 head. This order is referred to as the T568B standard for wiring. We will display this info on the screen now. You may want to write this down to have it available as we go. First, based on the T568B standard, flatten the wires next to each other in a row and order the wires from left to right as follows. First is orange and white. The second is the orange only. Third is green and white. Fourth is blue only. Fifth is blue and white. Six is green only. Seven is brown and white. And eight is brown only. Once the cables are flattened and in order as you see here, trim them down using a wire cutter or snipper to approximately one quarter inch in length. Insert the cables very carefully into an RJ45 head. Check to ensure each wire is inside one of the small channels and that each cable's metal wiring tip reaches the end of the RJ45 head to contact with the metal inside. Also, it's good to make sure the remaining jacket is tucked into the RJ45 head as well. Insert the cable and head into the crimping tool as you see. Squeeze two times to be sure. Afterwards, we're going to repeat steps three through six for the other end of the cable and then proceed to testing. First, we're going to need to open the Cable Tester app on the device. Tap the app and follow the on-screen prompts to open the app. Once it's open, insert one end of the cable into the UTP scan port on the tester and the other end into the tester port. If your cable is functioning correctly, you should get data showing continuity across all the lines. Thanks for joining us today as we showed you how to terminate and test Ethernet cable CAT5e and CAT6. If you enjoyed the video or found it useful, don't forget to toss us a like and subscribe for more content in the future. Thanks, and until next time, stay safe.